Hi, I'm James T. Lane, coming to you from New York City, uh, the Marriott Theater at Lincolnshire, and I thought it would be cool to do a series of uh, getting to know an actor besides the guy or gal that you see on stage eight shows a week. Um, next season, hopefully, I am coming to you is Bill Calhoun in Kiss Me Kate, and also as Man One in And the World Goes Round. And um, I thought I'd talk about uh, my journey f from here, from, um, from Philadelphia, I should say, from Philadelphia to Broadway as a start. I'm from Philadelphia. I started dancing when I was about seven years old and um, it was life changing for me. It was like learning a new language, a language that I kind of naturally wanted to speak. It was a language in which I could express myself. I started in first grade, Miss Shepherd at the William Meredith Dance School. And um, she was a real special lady. You could smell her perfume from a mile down the hall. And she taught me discipline and work ethic. Um, my first dance class, I was so scared and excited, I peed all over the floor. <laughs> she sent me into the boys' bathroom to clean it up. And, and then I learned first position. I had an education unlike um, it, anybody would dream of in the performing arts, and I didn't even know I was going into the performing arts, but uh, from kindergarten to eighth grade, I went to an elementary school for the performing arts. Um, for a while there, uh, in eighth grade, I wanted to be a Navy SEAL because I was tired of being teased so much about dance, but that soon changed by graduation, and then I picked a uh, music school, the Gerard Academic Music Program, and uh, we did plays and musicals and I studied music theory and uh, in my senior year of uh, high school, they didn't do a play. So I said, I'll show you. I wrote, uh, directed, choreographed and produced my own musical review called A Killer Review, where it was kind of based on 10 Little Indians meets a Broadway musical review. <laughs> so the... Uh, Theater company was being hunted by a serial killer who was killing off the theater company. And um, at the end of the show, and we sang songs from musicals like uh, West Side Story or, or The Who's Tommy, um, Fame, and others. And uh, I put it all together. And uh, that was our uh, spring show that year. And I was very, very proud of that. Uh, my Also my senior year, I... I auditioned and sent applications into like over 11 or 12 schools and um, I finally ended up picking Carnegie Mellon and I stayed there for just a little bit of time it just wasn't the right fit for me and then I went to Penn State go blue and um, and that really wasn't the right fit for me either I think that I just needed to get out there and try it for myself so I got a European tour of the musical fame and I started out as a swing in the show and the swing is someone who covers all uh, like lots of different characters in the show lots of different ensemble roles in the show so I understudied about five or six men and by the end of the six months I was playing the lead in Paris France came back to the United States and continued to work with uh, the musical fame and national tours and taking over the lead role and uh, two months into taking over the lead role I tore my Achilles tendon. And so that takes about nine months to come back from. And um, I was about 22 when that happened, when you're at the, the height of your kind of like, or, or going into like the strength of, of who you are as a human being. And um, it taught me a lot of lessons. And I, and I hope to talk about the lessons that I learned um, during that time in a later podcast. So um, that's a bit for now, um, I hope that you will continue along in following this series where I will um, continue my journey from Philly to Broadway. Thanks so much and thanks to the Marriott Link Theater in Lincolnshire for this opportunity. Hope to see you soon.